Hello, freaks. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by The Great Courses. The Great Courses is a new podcast sponsor that is essentially like taking a university-level course from the comfort of your own home. Uh, and doing it on your terms whenever you would like to do it. They offer engaging video and audio lectures taught by top professors and experts in their fields. I am watching the course Stress and Your Body, taught by an award-winning neurology professor at Stanford University. Uh, his name is uh, Dr. Robert Sapolsky. And if you have ever uh, heard me talk about toxoplasma and the uh, fascinating disease that infects rats and cats and then ultimately human beings, and it actually changes behavior, I learned all about that uh, for the most part from Dr. Sapolsky. And Stress in your body is is quite interesting. Um, it's great great insight as to uh, how stress can affect you, uh, not just mentally but physically. How it can uh, change your sleep cycles, memory and judgment, uh, even pain thresholds. Really interesting stuff. I will uh, report more on it as I get deeper into it. But uh, I'm a huge fan of Dr. Sapolsky, and uh, so far really enjoying the great courses. And I just love the idea that you can get a university level course and learn things. Um, in your home and do it on your, at your own at your own pace do it you know whatever whatever time you have free you can choose a format uh, video download audio download you can get it on a DVD or a CD with 500 courses on many subjects including science history art music and more and the great courses has been in production for over 20 years this is not a new thing listen or watch online downloads streaming via their apps and uh, I really want you to give it a shot and try it out. The Great Courses has a special offer for my listeners. Order Stress and Your Body and get 80% off the original price. How glorious. 80% off, and you're going to get smarter. But this 80% savings is only available for a limited time. So do not wait. Go to thegreatcourses.com forward slash J-R-E. That's thegreatcourses.com forward slash J-R-E. Order Stress and Your Body, what I'm taking, and get 80% off the original price. That's thegreatcourses.com forward slash J-R-E. We're also brought to you by DraftKings.com. DraftKings.com is America's favorite one-week fantasy football site where you could win enormous cash prizes every week. You've already researched your players for your season-long fantasy football team. Turn that knowledge into into. That's not even a word. Turn that knowledge into instant cash at DraftKings.com. Last year, one player turned eleven dollars into four thousand in one weekend. Another player won a hundred grand his first time ever playing, and another player won a million dollars in one day. They have millions of dollars to give away at DraftKings.com. They're taking fantasy football and turning it into some serious shit. So win some huge cash this weekend. Hurry, get free entry into Millionaire Maker Event. The Millionaire Maker Event where first prize, prize, what's wrong with my lips today? The Millionaire Maker Event, excuse me, where first place takes home a million dollars. That's not a typo. A million bucks for first place. Head over to Gra- DraftKings.com right now and enter the promo code ROGAN to play free to become a millionaire. DraftKings.com and then enter the promo code ROGAN for free entry now. That's DraftKings.com. da 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 and we're also brought to you by Stamps.com. Stamps.com is a super convenient way for you to send packages and print official U.S. postage directly from any computer. A simple printer, regular setup. You don't need anything unusual attached to your computer, just a regular printer, and you can print official U.S. postage from your office, from your home. And it's the best way to run a small business. Uh, I've said this time and time again, but if you want real freedom, create your own website, start your own products, market them, sell them yourself, do it online. If you have something good, people will buy it. It is a way that you can get free of the grind. And with Stamps.com, you can send things directly from your home without ever having to go through the hassle of going to a post office, waiting in line, dealing with all that bullshit. And with our special code, JRE, 
if you click on the uh, old school microphone in the upper right hand corner and enter in the code word JRE, you will get a $110 bonus offer from Stamps.com, which includes a free digital scale and up to $55 of free postage. That's enter in the promo code JRE. Go to Stamps.com. Before you do anything, click on that microphone and save yourself some cash by entering JRE. I fully support Stamps.com. It's something that we use here at my podcast. Brian uses it to send all his stuff from DeskSquad.tv. Bert Kreischer uses it when he when you buy anything from BertBertBert.com. Christina Pazitsky and Tom Segura use it. Many, many of our friends use Stamps.com. It is an outstanding service. And last but not least, we are brought to you by Ting. Ting is the official cell phone. Cell phone? That's me. I'm fucking stupid as shit. Ting is the official cell phone provider of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note three and i have uh, a samsung galaxy s5 that i just recently got switched over and is a uh it's it's the phone that we use for this podcast um when i'm booking guests when i'm setting things up and for online like it's fantastic it's got a big juicy screen i love the fact that it's water resistant and i love the fact that it's with ting where you're going to save a shitload of money my bill last month was 18 bucks that's pretty goddamn low 98 percent of people would save money with ting and it's because they do mobile differently what does that mean what it means is ting uses the sprint backbone so it's just like having a, spo- a phone on sprint but when you have a phone through sprint you have to use it by sprints rules when ting rents time on the sprint backbone they do it by ting's rules Ting's rules are much different. First of all, no contracts, no early termination fees, no ride-along or bundling or bullshit. You don't pay for a certain amount of minutes per month. You pay for what you use. If you use two minutes a month, you pay for two minutes. If you use 100 minutes a month, you pay for 100 minutes a month. It used to be, and it is with most cell phone providers, that you pay for a certain amount, and if you don't use that, that's you know, you fucked up. You, you, you got a bill that's too high. With Ting, you only pay for what you use. And that, in my opinion, is the way that all cell phone providers should give you service. It only makes sense. They don't have to, like, make you pay X amount for 100 minutes. And then if you use 20 minutes, you know, it just goes to waste. It doesn't make any sense. Ting's way makes sense. And they have for sale all of the very best Android phones and devices, including iPhones. They have iPhones as well, but all the top of the line Android phones like the HTC M1, M8 rather, HTC M8. How do you say it? Mate? It's not mate. HTC One M8. That's it. That's what I meant to say. They, ha- they even have some of the older Android phones, like which you probably really don't need the top-of-the-line shit. But if you're into the top-of-the-line shit, they got that, too. They got the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And if you buy it from them, you own it. No contracts, no early termination fees. It's a beautiful way to do mobile. And if you go to rogan.ting.com, you can get $25 off of any new device. That's rogan.ting.com. All right, you fucks. Strap in. Buckle up. Kamal Bell is here. Kamal Bell, you might know him from the television show Totally Biased. It was his show that he had on FX until they moved it to FXXXXXXXXX and it went away. But he's a hilarious stand-up comedian, a very nice guy, and a very thoughtful person. And you're going to enjoy the fuck out of him. So strap in. Kamal Bell. Joe Rogan Podcast. Check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day. Joe Rogan Podcast by night. All day. And we're live. You're, you're one of those dudes that rocks two phones. No, no, no. This is an iPod Touch ah. because this phone is broken. <laughs> so, like, I can't listen to music on this phone anymore. So, I just bought an iPod Touch. I'm not that dude. You're this not is, that dude. No, this is just. I, it looks like I'm that. Like, like this is my burner. But no, it's just. A, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of people that just love fucking around with a bunch of different pieces of electronics. So they I would, carry a, a few of them. No, I prefer one. It's just when I went to the. St- Verizon to go, can I have a new phone since it was cracked? They were like, okay, that'll be $700. And I was like, no, it won't.
won't be. <laughs> I will wait until my contract is up. What's wrong it. with it? It's cracked? The screen is cracked, which doesn't bother me, but somehow it f- I, I'm really bad with... I'm really hard on everything, as my wife will attest. And uh, Oh, shit! Yeah, not, in a, not in a Ray Rice way, let's be clear. <laughs> but uh, the jack is all fucked up, so I can't, I can't hear things anymore. In a Ray Rice way will be a statement for a long time now. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you, until somebody else uh, knocks two of their wives out in an yeah, elevator. Yeah, like Michael Vicking your dog. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, that was that whole scenario is leading to so many different people getting in trouble for domestic violence and reports of domestic violence. And yeah, man. Anthony Johnson, uh, one of the fighters in the UFC, got suspended just because there was just the the possibility that maybe something happened. So there's an inquiry. I mean, he's there's not a even sea change. We're going through a sea change right now. Yeah, yeah, and it's all about. I think because it, I, I've talked about this a little bit before that. It used to be you only knew the shit that you knew that was directly in front of you, that you want information you either sought out or your friends brought to you. Mm-hmm. But now on Facebook and Twitter, people are like finding out about Ray Rice who were like, I didn't know there was a thing called the NFL. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like everybody's getting everybody's shit so that d- the NFL has had domestic violence for, you know, since the dawn of the NFL. And not that it's any worse than regular society, but they've had it. But now it's at the point where people who never were paying attention to the NFL are noticing it. Also, people are going and looking through uh, the the past of a lot of these different guys. I yeah. Mean, I think whenever you're dealing with a bunch of like super athletes who are also involved in an incredibly aggressive sport, and you add in head trauma, yes. re- repeated head trauma, and a lot of them, like Ray Rice has said, that that's how he was raised. Or that, uh, no, he wouldn't say, it was a Peterson? Yeah, Adrian Peterson. Peterson. Adrian Peterson yeah, said yeah, yeah. That that's how he was raised. Was he, he was raised beat. getting knocked the fuck out? <laughs> no, in an elevator? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was know. Ray Rice. That no, was, no, was a Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I've, pulled, I've pulled a switch off a tree because I had to go get one, but uh, I didn't have my nuts all cut up. Like, I think there's he different... Had his nuts like, cut up? That was the kid. It was like that there was, there was uh, from what I read, that there was actual, like, injuries on his genital area really that's what i like you know i'm not trying to testify in a court of law but i heard that it was like i mean there's certainly there's abuse and there's and there's also discipline and we all that line is changing and like i said we're going through a sea change where everybody knows everybody's shit now mm-hmm. but uh i don't i don't think you can hide but we all had fucked up shit had to happen to us by our parents but it doesn't mean you have to pass it on to the next you yeah don't, you don't got to pay it forward fuck yeah yeah that's a good point and you, I, i've been talking about it lately that my parents were raised by immigrants immigrants that came over from italy and ireland and you know those people that came over here in the 1920s they were savages <laughs> i mean they might as well have been cave people right they got on these shitty boats yeah, yeah, yeah. that floated across the ocean took months they got over here they got their name changed right yeah. away yeah. and immediately they started fucking and shitting out kids and then they <laughs> raised those kids with their savage instincts and in the neighborhood that they're not allowed to leave because mm-hmm. they have their accent is too thick and they yep. eat weird food <laughs> so they're not allowed to leave that neighborhood at the point when italians weren't considered to be white uh, those yeah. people aren't white or you know like polish people aren't white and then eventually they lose the accents they're allowed to integrate into the rest of the of the city i had a history professor on yesterday thaddeus russell who explained that that exact same thing you know how yeah. all these different cultures integrate into society and they're considered non-whites like except the Jews, for one except for, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. except for the black folks yeah we don't get to integrate it in yeah way. well it was also his his take on it was the unique uh, aspect of america is that um, america was the the country that had this puritan value system like these people came over mm-hmm. and they had this like really re- repressive value system and very re- repressed society but they also had slaves mm-hmm. and the slaves didn't they didn't accept any of that and then they became a part of the culture radically influenced the art radically inf- in- influenced the language the, who the slaves or the the uh, slaves did yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean this is one of the u- most unique things about america is mm-hmm. the african-american influence mm-hmm. and the western africans integrating into this really fucked up puritan very repressed society mm-hmm. and then you see in america like 90% of all entertainment comes out of here, mm-hmm. a, a, a massive amount of innovation comes out of here, a yeah. massive difference in the way we speak English as opposed to the way English people speak English. Mm-hmm. There's so many variables that, that came out of that 
And it makes you think, like, how much of, kind of bringing it all back to the Peterson thing of beating his kids, how much of the way human beings live our lives is based just on the momentum of the people that came before us, whether it's his parents that Mm -hmm. beat him Mm -hmm. or some fucking weird puritanical society that you just unluckily were born into. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of that is... but again, there's that. I certainly understand that we, you know, like I said, all of this have fucked up things happened to us in our childhood. Some of us go, I got to put a stop to this. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, that you make the choice to go, I got to break the cycle. And sometimes it's in big ways, like, I'm going to go to college. Nobody went to college. And sometimes it's like, I'm not going to slap my kid in the nuts. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's just, <laughs> I'm going to stick. I'm going to talk to him, you know? Yeah. And, I, and certainly. I was whipped as a kid by a different thing. I mean, I always say my, one of my grandmother's favorite stories was to talk about how she beat me with a shoe one time. And that was a Thanksgiving. Everybody sit down and let's hear the beat with a shoe story. <laughs> like that, that was not like a, in therapy she told that story. It's like, hey, grandma, tell the how you beat me with a shoe story again. And everybody would laugh. And, you know, and it was a good southern time. <laughs> you know? What and, was the cause? What did you do that made her beat you with a shoe? It's, it's funny. It's the South. I said, I said, what? That's it? Yeah. So, like, so, uh, so call me. Say, come out. Come out. What? You said, you don't say what to me. <laughs> so, wha-pa, wha-pa. supposed to be yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And I was, and I lived in the, I swear to say the North, but I lived with my mom in the North. So I didn't know that wasn't a thing in the North that you couldn't say what. So I didn't know. And I felt really like tricked. Like I felt entrapped. Like nobody, you give me a list of rules of how it works here in the South and I won't do those things. So she, that's funny, man. Yeah, that's I said, funny. I got beat with a shoe for saying what? Well, kids, when they're starting to, uh, sort of find themselves when they're starting to establish their own identity one of the first things they do is uh, immediately try to challenge the way you discipline them and the way you you like my daughter loves doing that i go you know i'll say to her hey come on we got to